Just a reminder before today's programme that the first instalment of Tap from the TARDIS is available to view, where we took a look at the rather legendary TARDIS tin. And now, here on AMTV, time for some more Tap from the TARDIS. Hello there everybody and welcome to another instalment of Tat from the TARDIS and we're going to be looking at something quite interesting today. I'll just say I know you can probably tell I'm recording this as a voiceover and this is pre-film footage. I just wanted to experiment with this, see how it works. But as you can see on your screens, if you were around in 2005 when Doctor Who had its revival, if you wanted to pick the series up on home media, you probably own this. Series 1, Volume 1, which contained the first three episodes of the 2005 series, that being Rose, the End of the World and The Unquiet Dead. Now, of course, nowadays you can get the series box set on DVD, you can get it on Blu-ray, Blu-ray Steelbook, you can stream it, but back in 2005, especially like after the show first concluded, this was the only way you could re-watch these three episodes unless you'd tape them on VHS or something like that. But this, of course, is the most standard case. That's not what we're talking about here today. We're talking about this. That's right, this is a bootleg DVD of Doctor Who. Now, as you can see, let's have a look at the front cover. It says Rose. You've got a screenshot from that first episode where Rose is hanging out of the TARDIS almost. I saw this in a charity shop. It was 50 pence, and because it was a bootleg, I was so fascinated I had to definitely pick this up and check this out. Now you can tell from the the design of this, they're trying to mimic the DVD range of classic series Doctor Who, which used, you know, that logo, the TARDIS round or background, and the banner at the bottom denoting the Doctor and the years they served. And this is funny, look at this. The Christopher Eccleston year, 2005. Uh, they knew it was just one year, but it's true. It was just a singular year, the Christopher Eccleston year of 2005. It's my, my little OCD mind is like there's no hyphen between year and 2005, but nevertheless. But you've got an image of Chris Eccleston there. And if we flick over to the back a second, it again, very quite well actually mimics the classic series DVD range by having some screenshots at the top. So, you, you know, you got the London Eye, you got the Autons there, and you've got the, you know, the author by Russell T. Davis, or Davis, Davis, Davies, we're missing an E, someone didn't know how to spell. And then you just have, you know, a standard description of the episode of Rose, and it actually keeps in fitting, if you can see there, it says, this story was broadcast on BBC One on the 26th of March, 2005. This is what the classic series cases did as well. And this amazingly says it has special features. It says it has a documentary, Doctor Who, A New Dimension, and it also has the first Doctor Who Confidential on here. It's region zero, meaning it'll work in any region. I mean, this is this is a bootleg after all. You might notice the running time is 135 minutes, which is roughly three episodes of the revived series, but the front cover just says Rose. Well, amazingly, when I pop this into my PS4, this is actually the Series 1 Volume 1 DVD, just without the menus, pretty much. Someone's put it into play all episodes mode, and they've just recorded. And how do I know that? Because when you open up the case and have a look at this disc, as you can see, it's a pretty generic disc. They've just slapped the old Doctor Who logo on there. But when you look at the other side, you can tell this was obviously recorded onto a DVD-R, which is a rewritable format, similar to CDRs. You know how you can burn CDs. You can also burn DVDs as well. And that's assumingly what this person did. So I did try this in my PlayStation. It does work. But again, it isn't just Rose. It also has The End of the World and The Unquiet Dead. Does it have the special features? Sadly, not from what I can see. When I did try this, it does just, when you hit play, it goes straight into the title sequence for Rose. There's no menus like you get on the official release. So why did this guy do it? Well, that's a very good question. I mean, did he do it to fit with the rest of his classic series on the shelf, you know, because the spine matches it, but then why call it just Rose, you know, or like series one, volume one or something like that? It just doesn't make any sense. I'd be really interested into why the guy made this. I mean, does this have any purpose now? Not really. You don't want to be buying bootleg stuff anyway. I just found this quite an oddity and uh, again, a bit of tat to this ever growing collection. But amazingly, there are other bootleg Doctor Who DVDs like this. I saw on the Facebook marketplace, there was a listing where there were similar Christopher Eccleston DVDs like this in this format being sold, so they're definitely out there. 
Of course, now you can get Rose and uh, the whole of Series 1 in a, in a variety of formats, really. You can get it on the official DVD, the box set, or you can get this Blu-ray steelbook that I have. Although, if you want this steelbook, it's probably going to cost you a, a bit of a pretty penny these days. These are quite rare to come by. They're not in print anymore. But... All told, you can get the whole of Series 1 in one set now. Times have moved on dramatically since 2005. Gone are the days where you have to buy, you know, four separate DVDs to make up a whole season. Now you can just get it, and you can stream it as well, so times definitely have changed for the better. But I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Tap from the TARDIS, looking at some bootleg new who. Let me know in the comments down below, do you own any bootleg Doctor Who, or have you ever seen any bootleg Doctor Who, both classic and new series? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and until the next one, I will see you guys next time. This program has been brought to you in part by our producer and director patrons. With your support, you help keep AMTV running, and the programs coming to your screens. Thank you. And that does bring us to the end of another evening here on AMTV. We hope you enjoyed the program, and we hope to see you next time. Good night. <laughs>